The armored car has been a part of military history since the early 1900s. The armored car design was used by several countries, but it wasn't until World War II did it see greater service in larger numbers. The United States version of the armored scout car was to be built by the White Manufacturing Company starting in the early 1930s. Its post-prototype development culminated into the M3A1 design in 1939 up to 1944. Its armored body was outsourced to Diebold Lock and Safe Company and had a maximum thickness of a half inch or 13 millimeters and had an open top configuration. It was also common for the scout car to be armed with a 50 or 30 caliber Browning machine gun placed on what they called the skate rail which would allow any gunner to move the gun along the rail into various lines of fire. The M3A1 is equipped with two interconnecting 15 gallon fuel tanks and has an operational top speed of between 50 and 60 miles per hour with an estimated fuel range of 250 miles. The American Scout car was used by many countries during and after World War II up until about the 1970s. In some cases, even today, Parts for the M3A1 scout car can be found in places like Israel and France. When World War II drew to a close in 1945, the United States and its allies had amassed a huge amount of military vehicle surplus. Much of the hardware was never to return to the U.S. The United States alone had manufactured over 20,000 M3A1 scout cars for the war. To find any 75-year-old World War II vehicle in its original working condition is quite remarkable, especially when it's been sitting outdoors and in the elements. Recently, in the latter part of 2019, there is a modest collection of World War II military vehicles found in the Northern California region laying hidden away along the banks of the Petaluma River. In and amongst this cache of vehicles were two M3A1 scout cars, one of which was in surprisingly decent condition. Once the collection was successfully procured, local collector and military vehicle enthusiast Ernie Angro was able to obtain the most serviceable of the two M3A1s. To recover any armored vehicle left standing for more than three decades can be quite challenging, especially in wet soil conditions. The scout car weighs in at more than six tons. Once the vehicle was successfully delivered, Ernie hired fellow collector and scout car owner Peter Frazier to help with its recovery. This is a video of its resurrection to glory.
uh, ignition timing set up before you pull the water pump because the distributor is driven off the water pump. So you have to make sure all of that's correct before you set down and shut the car. It's got the old style with the graphite rope mm -hmm. uh, seal. Yeah. So we're going to undo that, pull the body apart, slide the shaft back as far as we can. We won't be able to pull the shaft completely out. Uh, clean that up and then repack it with the graphite rope. Put it all back together. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like black pores. <laughs>